technical document was posted in a photo to Chinese social networking site Weibo by a currently unknown source. It appears to be a CAD document, and shows off a device around the same thickness as the iPhone 7, but with minimal bezels, a vertically aligned camera suite, and a relocated Touch ID sensor on the back of the device. The schematics appear to be a CAD drawing from the engineering verification testing phase, which usually occurs before any design or production validation testing. Chinese iPhone leakster KK has revealed renders of what it claims are the iPhone 8, showing an edge-to-edge -edge screen, measuring a slightly smaller than previous leaks. The device, according to technical drawings revealed alongside the renders, will measure 137.54 mm x 67.54 mm, almost exactly matching the dimensions of the iPhone 7. The screen will be 5.768 inches diagonally, with a 4mm bezel around the sides of the smartphone. Those leaks indicated a new location for the Touch ID sensor, specifically a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner, as well as a vertically aligned dual camera system that protrudes from the back. Notably, they also seem to suggest that the display won't be edge-to-edge, -edge, but will still retain minimal side, top and bottom bezels. The latest schematic also suggests that the 3.5mm headphone jack won't make a comeback, Analog buttons and features like the ringer switch, volume toggles, SIM card tray, top mounted lock button and the lightning connector will all be in their usual spots. The iPhone 8's alleged Touch ID relocation would be a first for Apple's flagship smartphones. Notably, Cupertino could be making the change because it has no choice. According to a recent report, the biggest design bottleneck that remains is integrating an under-the-display Touch ID sensor. It's worth noting that Apple is said to be testing up to 10 different iPhone prototypes this year, and this latest schematic could just be of one of those prototypes. Having said that, the evidence is mounting that Apple will indeed relocate the fingerprint sensor. The report goes on to suggest that the top air flagship stool lens camera system around back will, in fact, be reoriented to a vertical position. As noted in our previous report, however, this reorientation, as quirky as it may seem, certainly won't come without benefits to the user. By shifting the camera sensors to a top-bottom position from their current side-by-side -side orientation, iPhone Edition owners will be able to achieve greater depth of field, forthcoming R, VR applications, and more when the device is used horizontally. Also expected for the iPhone 8 is iOS 11 with advanced Siri functionality, wireless charging, and Apple's powerful A11 SOC. Apple's next-generation iPhone will likely be ready for an official announcement and launch this fall.